Yeah, you can pull that one back. Kyle, when we were actually supposed to do it, I think this was supposed to go like that. So let's try it now. So let's try this one. Oh, we're supposed to. I yeah, get what you're saying. Exactly. So let me try. That was, oh, you can you can try to wiggle it in, even with that one. See if it'll. Uh, yeah, there you go. I just don't want to be. I just want to be gentle, bro. It's not my plane. <laughs> nah, you're Justin fine. Idol, that's Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. It's been a long week. Uh, we've been working. I actually arrived here early in the week and I wanted to continue my airplane build. But I want to show you guys what we've been working on so far, uh, mainly the wings of the airplane. Stay tuned. So guys, welcome back. A lot of things are moving out here. I just want to show you, uh, give you a rundown of what we've been doing this week uh, since I've been back here. Um, we've got the wings settled over there and Dylan, which you'll see over there, he's still working and helping us drill some more holes, but I'll show you what we've been working on. So the, the set of wings are there. What you see here are the fuel tanks, but let me start first with the wings and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about the, the fuel tanks. So, so far the main frame of the, the tanks are, are done. Okay. We just have to click all this and then just nail it together. So the skins have to go uh, together on them. But first, let's go here where a lot of the work have been done. Now, the average time to build one of these, probably 30, 40 hours. But this is the wings of the TSI. This is what it looks like before the skin is covered, before uh, it's painted, and it looks all nice and dandy. Okay, this is this is what it'll look like in hoops. I almost stepped on the the skin there. So this is the skin that will go over it, but this is the backbone, the skeleton of it. Let me go on this side so I don't step on those skins. Okay. So you see here the leading edges, and I'll take you through. So these are the leading edges, right? You've got one of this, and this space that you see here, this is where the fuel tank is going to attach to and then become one with the wings, okay? So if you come up here, all right, I'll show you all the other extra little parts that are involved in this thing. So you look in, you see these tubes here? This is for your pitot tube, and these are tubes that get stuff for your airspeed, static pressure, and your angle of attack. Okay, so these will be connected to the pitot tube. And then back here, actually let me go to the back. Normally this, if you're standing over here and you're looking at the wings actually from the top, this here is where the flaps is going to be. You have the flaps here and then you'd have the ailerons there on that side and this is what is going to control your flaps this is a torque tube okay and this right here this is what your flaps is going to be doing see this rod here when you when you hit the the switch in the cockpit it will go down or up however many degrees of flaps you're you're applying this is what's going to actuate that and this rod here or well, this entire system will be connected electronically to a motor. And so the motor is what's going to move this back and forth. Okay? And that's how your flap system will work. And then for the ailerons, you would have a push rod that will come in through here and then connect to this. And this is what's going to control that aileron when you apply on the stick on the inside all right this is what's going to pull and push your aileron let me show you there's a sample airplane here so you you look what i'm what i'm explaining to you so you look in this airplane here 
whenever you push this, okay, from side to side, you see, you see the ailerons there? That's your aileron moving from side to side. So when you when you do this in the cockpit, that push rod is what moves your aileron back and forth. And then your flap switch, what I just explained about the flap, this is your flap switch here, which is electronically controlled. And so when you move your flaps up and down, the, uh, the motor moves it for you through that torque tube. Now, if you come on this side, actually, let me go to the back here. You see these wires here? So these are for your lights. You see the one going through the leading edge here? That's for your landing and your taxi light. And then these are for your strobe lights and your positioning lights. Now, if you recall the last few series we did on the wire harness from Midwest, these are the same wires that we're using now. And you see another wire harness there so all these things will come together to work as one and then you'll be able to control from the from the cockpit now if you come on this side this is the backbone of our fuel tanks the sling TSI will have on the standard tanks 42 no 44 gallons about 44 gallons of fuel so about 21, 22 on each side. And those tanks are right here. And you see the fuel system here. Show you, well actually this one is done. Okay, perfect. So you see there's one intake here, another one here. This is where the fuel goes in. And you can see the construction from from the inside here. And any extra fuel left over will come back through this. All right, it's a pretty simple system. And as you know, the, the engine we're using with the Sling TSI, uh, the Rotax 915, you're only burning seven to eight gallons of fuel per hour. So with this amount of fuel altogether, you're not, you can still go far, 800 nautical miles. You can still go far with these tanks. Now, with the build, if you're building a TSI today, you can always opt in to get long-range tanks, and that will add another 20 gallons total. So you see how these tanks here, this here, will be attached to the wings. If you go with the long-range tanks, you would have another additional 10 gallons of fuel for each side. So... But again, for my mission, I don't need the extra 20 uh, gallons or extra fuel. So I just stuck with the standard tanks, which I think is plenty for anybody who's building this plane. So, so see so what we got here. Our wings is almost done. We're just popping Riverton now. Uh, last... I showed you this was basically opened up and what we've done in the last 48 hours is close things down now you would think like just looking at it covered up this is hours and hours of work what we did first and we've got our our manager here Dylan has been he's a he's very detail oriented uh, so he's got us uh, first we, we pop the, the quick hose in and then we'll space things out, uh, drill, drill, drill. And then once all that is done, we'll size it up. Then we'll take everything completely off, uh, clean it out with the air pressure gun, and then put it back in. And then that's when we put the, the rivets. As you can see, all of this is clean and done. And we did this last edge here. And if you notice, we haven't uh, popped rivets on the bottom yet. That's because we want to make sure the uh, the flaps and the ailerons fit properly before we go ahead and do that. Uh, so this is the right wing, I believe, and this is the left wing over here. Uh, so we've just been click going and popping rivets all day. And you see over here, Max, Max was in the house and 
he's getting some hands on. Bro, I'm now, I'm now uh, adding this to my resume. You <laughs> me? There you go. So uh, he now knows how to build an airplane. So um, for the most part, hopefully this will be complete. At least this part with the skin will be complete by the end of today. At least I'm going to make sure of that before I leave here. And then the next thing we'll be doing is we have to um, finish putting together the the fuel tanks here here's our fuel tanks here for the left and right wing and most of the work is done on this already again we just have to do go through the same process putting the click hose in and then cover it up with the skin and then attach it to the wings which is this space that you see right here all right so once that is done i believe our wings will be complete uh but it's it's been a it's been a very uh, productive week, so to speak. Uh, we've gotten a lot done. And once we're done with the wings, uh, we'll probably get to painting and spraying down with uh, Corrosion X and then attach. And then before you know it, the airplane is going to look more like that. Or actually more like that. That's a TSI over there. And also, our seats came in. I'm going to upload another video on that. But here's the update. I hope you guys enjoy this one. The plan is coming up. It's, it's almost done. We're almost at the finish line. All right, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe with notification bell on if this is your first time. And a great way to support Mojo Grip is to become a patron. I want to say thank you to everyone who have been a patron. And also, you can become an MVP on the website mojogrip.net forward slash MVP. Thank you all so much for all of your support. I will catch you on the next video.